deluxe box set. Right off. Boom. Saber, right? This is the lightsaber we all saw. Wires that he kind of like removed that part. Cross blade. Boom. This is that. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we're not looking at a legacy lightsaber today. We're, we're doing something different today. I for, totally forgot that I have this lightsaber and that it's not a legacy lightsaber. Um, since then, before, when I got this, legacy hasn't made one yet. Since then, they have one now. And I'm actually thinking about getting one just to compare it to this one. Um, this one is actually made by Hasbro. It's a uh, Force FX um, Elite um, series lightsaber. Um, it is, it's a little, it's different. It's definitely different than the legacy lightsaber in terms of how you put the blades in and how you put the um, battery in. So it's actually uh, a pretty good kind of comparison. So you can see the difference between the two. Uh, this one right now, I actually bought this at a local, um, it's kind of like a Facebook marketplace, but it's like, it's called, um, offer up. Um, I was just scrolling down there. I typed in lightsabers and, and there it was. The guy was just um, getting rid of this. And I think I picked it up for like $100. And right now you can buy this with the blade and everything you see here. It actually came with this metal stand um, for about $320. I think I checked um, roughly. Um, so make sure you shop around. This item is discontinued. So uh, it could get pricey. But let's look at the uh, the stand. So it came with a stand. It's nice. This is metal. It has a little um, rubber bumper in the bottom. So it um, stays pretty good. But this one right here is plastic. And this piece up here is plastic. It's probably plastic so it doesn't scratch the hilt or the lightsaber at all. Right? Um, you're probably wondering what this piece is. We'll get into that soon. Um, but first... Let's look at the lightsaber. This lightsaber is gorgeous. You can see. It looks it kind of looks like mace, but without the rubber. But this thing just looks amazing. I, I just love the 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 rose gold copper tip right there. Um and the silver and the gold plated. Um I'm pretty sure the entire hilt is made out of Metal. There's no plastic at all. Anywhere here. It just looks beautiful. Let me just get closer. So you guys can see. This two button actually serves the purpose. They're not just there for decorations. That one actually makes sound. One is the igniter. I think this is to ignite. Right here. To turn on and off. And this one is to... For the effects, which I'll show you guys later on. And the soundboard is obviously this little groove right there. That's where all the sound's coming from. The battery's inside. Um, now, the difference between this and the, um, the Legacy lightsaber is you have to actually unscrew this portion right here, which we'll do in a bit. Um to get to the battery. Legacy, you get some screw. This one, um, you have to put a screw on it. There's regular lightsaber made by Hasbro, the Black Series, the blade is stationary, you can't remove it. The Elite Series, you can't, just like this one, okay? So you have to put a screw to that one and uh, loosen it up to get to the battery pack in there. nice let's see how long this i guess we'll use we'll measure from here all the way to the top the lightsaber measures at nine and a half inches without that it's, it's nine and a half inches for sure nine and a half inches and it measures around uh two inches some areas are two inches some was like one and three quarters so the bottom parts are two inches obviously up here too 
but we actually put your hand as um, an inch and three quarters. But it's heavy, heavy. Lightsaber, is that okay? Let's see how much it weighs. Make sure we sear in. There we go. That's with the battery, obviously. One pound and 11 ounces. One pound and 11, seven. Let's do it again. One pound, 11, seven. So you can see this one is not I always tell people when you buy lightsabers like this, it's definitely not a toy. It's not those plastic ones that um, we used to play with as kids. This this babies are heavy. Um, it's also a bit of a I don't know if you can see um, a little bit of a uh, print magnet from your hand, but not too bad, right? There you go. So this one didn't come with a case. It came with a stand. Legacy comes with a case. Um, some of the legacy comes with a stand, but it doesn't come with a case. So this one, it just came with the blade, the adapter, the lightsaber, and it goes just like that. Okay, let's get into that battery portion there. Let's get out. Here we go. I had to replace the battery, actually. I had no idea it was dead. Get this battery out, show you guys what you need to do. So you just kind of loosen that. Take it easy because you do not want to. So right off the bat, you already know you need a tool to get to the battery for the Elite Series. Remove that part. Take the battery and there you go. Kind of like similar to the to the other lightsaber. But this one you need a screwdriver. To get to the battery right i wish they would just be um you can get some uh, what you call because i hate you know now you have to worry about losing that screw you can just if you're out somewhere cosplaying then um there you go there goes your um you can now you have to carry a uh a driver to replace the battery which can get kind of annoying right there we go it's not too bad if you're home so long as you check it before you go somewhere there you go you don't need to go crazy tightening that up and there you go that's how you replace the battery different right and now let me show you the blade the disc with it came with this blade right here so the blade is pretty long let me just measure the blade for you guys this blade and the one that i've been using to um, show you guys um the legacy lightsaber is definitely shorter than this the one that i use is about the shorter one because you know i don't i can't this one is 36 inches long. Um, Legacy comes with 30, comes with 26, 32, and 36, right? This one came with just 36. Um, I used the 26 to, for unboxing so that I can kind of move around in here. But this one's going to be a bit of a challenge because it's longer. But let me show you how. Okay, so this is the portion that attaches to the elite series and this is the one that attaches to the um, similarity right there a little groove there so you can only go in a certain way but that one's metal and this is plastic right and remember on the legacy you slide down and you twist and it locks into place this one um, it's not like that so what we need to do is not bad but it's just another step, right? Um, there's also legacy that requires another step, but the majority of them doesn't. So, okay, for you to hook this blade in, you can't just slide in, twist. What you'll have to do is, if you're wondering about this adapter, you'll have to unscrew 
this top piece right here. Not that top piece. Kind of hold that one. You just don't want to unscrew. Let's see. Okay, be careful because when you, it's a little too tight, the neck will also unscrew. So you just want to unscrew this top portion, right? And then what you'll need to do is you need to kind of line up, line it up kind of like the Legacy. And then you push it down. Once you push it down, then you'll have to take this adapter, insert it on top, just like this. And this adapter will actually hold it in place. There you go. And then now we can turn them on. Let's see, let me cut the lights out for you guys. All right, got the light out. Here we go. Let me get the light one off, light two off. And you press the, the green button. There you go. It brights red. Let me turn it off. Turn it back on. And you can hear, right? So that's the green button. When you press the red button, you get that kind of like dragging effect, which is kind of cool. It will stay like that as long as you hold this red button, All right? And if you tap it just like this, it will give you like the deflector, like you are deflecting the um a blaster or something like that once again there goes the the stress drag um effect there you go very cool right kind of red reddish more in the bottom there but it looks just the same in person you can kind of see the LED in there glow a little bit. I'm going to have to say that the blade, as far as the the lighting inside, is, is better, I think, in my opinion, than the Legacy lightsaber. But, obviously, this looks amazing. Let me get the light back on. Keep the light on so you can kind of see how bright this is, even with the bright light on here. Turn it off. Turn it back on. And there you go. To remove the blade, obviously you have to unscrew this portion again. Like I said, be careful. Make sure that you only unscrew. Hold this bottom piece. And then you unscrew the top. And then in reverse now we'll take this out side. Just pull the blade up just like this. And we are ready to put the display. Um, top, top right here. All right, obviously the regular blade will not fit on top there. And then it sits right in a stand, just like this. What do you guys think? I, I, I do like it. I do like the um, Elite Series version of uh, the Hasbro line better than the Black Series because the Black Series, you cannot remove the hill. It's just always attached to it so it'll be it's a nightmare trying to display i do have one of those because i made a mistake i thought it was an elite but in fact it was just a regular black series line so but i still have it it's cool let the kids play with it that one 
because it's like I said, it's tough to just play. Well, guys, let me know if you have one of these lightsaber. Let me know what you guys think of this um, new lightsaber unboxing that we're doing at the channel. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. I have a lot more to go. Um, if you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. And um, turn on that notification bell. So every time I upload a new video, you'll see and you get to watch it together with a lot of other people. And for everybody that's already subscribed to the channel and always come back commenting, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Another unboxing. Always, I'll see you on the flip side.